The Creation, Taino Myth In the beginning, Atabe created the heavens, the earth, and other celestial bodies. Atabe had always existed. Atabe was the original mother. Atabe was the powerful creator. But there was no life. There was no light. Everything existed as in a deep sleep. And so it was for a long time. Atabe finally realized that something was missing. She had two sons whom she crafted out of magical invisible elements. The two sons were named Jakaju and Guacad. Jakaju was preoccupied with the absence of light and life. Atabe was content because Jakaju could now finish what she had started. And Jakaju created the sun and the moon to illuminate the earth. He took precious stones from the earth and placed them in the sky. These stones helped the moon illuminate the night. The earth was fertile and from it grew plants and trees. Jakaju then created animals and birds to live among the plants and trees. Then Jakaju decided to create something new, something different, a cross between an animal and a god. In this way, the first man and soul was created. He called the first man Lokwo. Lokwo was happy on earth with all the beauty that surrounded him. He knelt before Yukaju to offer thanks. Guacuan looked with envy at all his brother had created. He stole away to a secluded place and did nothing for a while. But his envy overcame him and he began to taint the creations of his brother. He changed his name becoming the terrible god of evil, Huracan. Huracan carried the winds. Sometimes he carried them with such force that they destroyed what Jukaju had created. He uprooted trees and killed animals. Lokwo's happiness turned to fear. He could no longer enjoy the beauty of nature. In addition to sending powerful winds, Huracan made the earth tremble. This was one of his favorite games. During one of the most powerful quakes, the American continent divided in two. This is how the Antilles came to be. But Lukwo continued living on earth and Yukwaju created other gods to help him. Lokwo learned to create images of these gods, which he called Semies. Jukwaju presented Loku with fire and he learned to cook his own food. He learned to make cassava from Juka. But Loku lived alone on the earth. One day, inspired by so much natural beauty, he pried open his belly button and gave way to two beings in his likeness, a man and a woman. The man was named Guaguyona and the woman Yaya. The, the descendants of these two people populated the earth, but the descendants of Guaguyona and Yaya suffered immensely with the floods and strong winds that Huracan sent. And he sent evil spirits that caused problems in the lives of the people. The spirits destroyed the canoes in the rivers threw stones upon homes and hid the ball with which the people were playing. They also brought illness and strife to the people. That is how the Tainos explain natural phenomena and the origin of good and evil. The Caribs were fierce warriors who destroyed entire villages and kidnapped the women. The Caribs were considered messages of Huracan and if Huracan sent the Caribs, perhaps Jukaju sent good people to help expel the Caribs. Therefore, 
when the Spaniards arrived in Puerto Rico, the Tainos no doubt thought they were sent by Yucayu. They were wrong. 